Hello guys, welcome back to uh, P Train Productions. Today I'm gonna be doing the uh, final cleaning of my three barrel filter system and uh, put it away for the winter time. So I'm gonna be shutting it out. So this is gonna be one of my uh, uh, winterizing videos that I'm gonna be doing. So first thing today will be the uh, uh, shutting down the uh, three barrel filter system. All right, as you can see, my gazebo enclosure is already done so i use all the uh, clear tvc plastic as my wall keep the heat inside there so it's been pretty good so i keep the snow away for the winter time got the uh, door to go inside Yeah, everything is closed up for the winter time. So that would keep the snow away. And I can use it for my as my sunroom for the winter. See how it goes this year. It's been pretty good up there on my deck so we'll see well as I say it's supposed to be November 1st but I think the weather gonna be much colder so I don't want to do it so today is a nice day so I'm gonna be uh, starting I'm gonna be shutting down my uh, tree barrel filter system first then uh, the next video I'm going to do the skimmer and uh, clean up all the water iris and water lily and uh, set up my um, uh, de-icer and uh, bring up my uh, bubbler. All right, let's take a look at the three barrel filter system. As you can see, the, wa uh, the water flow still pretty good all right it's been over five weeks already I haven't done any cleaning yet and uh, everything is still good see my water level still around number four there and the media yeah a bit dirty but the, the water flow is still good so today I'm gonna be doing the final cleaning and shut it down for the winter time. So as usual, I'm gonna plug in my vacuum blower. Okay, and open them. So I'm gonna be like the last video as you saw it. I'm gonna be doing two barrels at the same time. So I'm gonna shut down my UV light. And three barrel. And this bubbler too. That'll be this one. Should turn up this bypass valve for the UV light. This one too. Okay, as you know, like last year, I'm gonna disconnect this UV light and put bring it inside the house too for the winter time. All right. So everything is shut down. I'm gonna drain the water a bit. I'm gonna drain this one down.
just like that you see the media are kind of dirty right now yeah it's been over five weeks so it's a record breaking i never run this system that long but apparently it's capable of running for a long period of time so see blow on for two minutes or so So it's been running for two minutes. I'm not a drink. Now. So you can see I drain the water directly to the, uh, the ground now. I don't need to collect from my garden anymore. And look how dirty that is. So, I'm gonna repeat for two or three more cycles of cleaning. Then, uh, then that'll be it. Then I'm gonna pull out the pump from the pond and uh, put it away. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I've done uh, four cycles of two minutes cleanings. And for these two barrels, as you can see, the media, the medias are kind of cleaner now. So it should be good until next year. So for that barrel number three, you can see the media is clean. So we don't need to do any cleaning. Uh, I need to do is just drain out all the water from the barrel so to uh, prevent it from uh, freezing and damage the barrel or the plumbing during the winter time just drain it out all right after this then i'm gonna go out a little drain there right, so i'm gonna go out and pull up that uh, uh pump So as you can see the water level went down. I'm gonna be cleaning this skimmer next. So I don't have any water filling in anymore. So it's running low right now. That's fine. I'm gonna pull that out too anyway. So anyway, just run for now. I'm gonna pull up this main pump. Okay, then I I'm gonna remove this. Actually, I'm gonna remove it now. I'm gonna remove this. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, what do you call? Check valve. I remove that check valve and put it away for the winter time too. Water coming back out. Okay, so all right, as you can see, this is the main pump. 
it's been uh, over five weeks. Uh, it's kind of dirty, but not that bad. I would lock up the pump, so I just need to pull it out and clean it and put it away. All right, as you can see, I got the pump cleaned up and put it into a bucket of water and waiting to bring it inside. So next, I'm gonna remove the uh, UV light. So I use this leftover uh, green metalla to block this inlet pipe to prevent uh, any big animal going inside. Just like that. And shoot, I'm gonna pull this pump out too. All right, next, so, so I know that all the water is drained out from this UV light already. So I can disconnect these uh, hoses. something to cover these hoses again to prevent any insects going inside uh, dust or debris as you can see I already removed the uh, control unit for the wall yeah so I just need to uh, take these two screw out four screw actually and bring the whole unit inside. Yeah, there's also two O-rings right here, inside here. I usually remove them and bring them inside as well to uh, uh, keep them away from freezing. Otherwise, they will get uh, brittle due to the uh, freezing temperature. All right, so you can see, I have two uh, sandwich bags with uh, Elastic bands to uh, cover the uh, hoses to prevent any insects going inside there and tie them up together. All right, so cover these barrels. Check this one out. Oh, yeah, shut this one. Cover back. Take out the electrical. This is for the uh, pump control. So that's it, guys. That's how I shut down my uh, three barrel filter system for the winter. Uh, next, I'm going to be doing the uh, skimmer and of course I'm gonna put this one away UV light away the pump 